Hello everyone, and welcome back to Suhula Sand Safari, where our wild lands are growing even more wild with the arrival of a bachelor pride of a lion. Basically a lion coalition made up of males who currently do not control any territory with a pride of females within it, uh, and also increasingly made up of the young males who have grown up over at our lion pride, the moon lion pride. Now let's actually check how they're doing because I think another brother is about ready to age up pretty soon. Look at them! Look at our beautiful ladies roaming by. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get down in here. Let's admire them because these are truly the females in charge of the entire pride. Because after all, remember what we have been talking about, guys. A lion pride is not controlled by the male. He just happens to control the territory the pride is inside of. It is controlled by these lovely ladies who are currently strolling by. Sisters aunts, cousins, growing up together. We have Amy, Umbrelli, Diamos. We have got some of their cubs. Leonis is about to grow up. Venus is about to grow up. And they will have to find a place somewhere in this wild world of theirs. And they are watched over by their current king, Lonely, who is the male lion who controls their territory right now. But I have to admit, guys, I've been thinking about maybe having more lion prides starting. When there are too many females, a lion pride will actually start breaking apart into different groups and trying to establish different areas. Uh, oh, and Venus has just matured! And Venus might need a place to go. And Leonis actually needs a place to go, so we're going to move him over into Bachelor's Rock, which is where the male lions go. But if they start fighting, then the weakest of the male lions will be kicked out. The oldest or the weakest will be kicked out of the coalition of males. And we'll actually end up having... Um, a new male, a new male move in. So this is going to be interesting, watching our ever-shifting lion pride as they continue to grow. And possibly seeing when we feel it is right to add another pride in here, which really I think should come once we have a few more uh, of the prey animals moved in. We don't want to like overload on having too many of the predators at once. So I think what we're going to work on today is we are actually going to prepare the cheetah area. The cheetahs are slowly but surely settling in, getting more comfortable here. The African wild dogs are maturing, which is excellent, excellent news. Oh, the Aster! Oh, that's so exciting! I'm so proud of them! I can't wait to see how our African wild dogs settle in. Uh, oh, and there's some dung! Do I have a protea flower to put in here? Quickly, before it gets cleaned up! Aha! There we go. Uh, and I just feel like we don't have enough of, we just don't have enough of the prey animals to be able to support more populations. So we've got to think about how we're going to handle that. Also, so the Sand Safari is getting to be quite the sprawling, amazing wilderness. I absolutely love it. Uh, we'll need to tend to this a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're going to do cheetahs, and then we'll have an expansion of the vast horizons out this way and maybe the bachelor herd a little bit and we'll try to make it so people can perhaps even travel Ooh, ooh! i wonder if we can make a tunnel i wonder if we could make like a little secret tunnel but then people wouldn't be able to see anything <gasps> like our elephant swimming oh that's awesome maybe we can make a little path that climbs across here and lands down over here and can let people get across that way Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun, guys. There's just so much to do. All right. But with so many options for where we could go, let's carry on with our cheetah for now. Because we need to make sure that these guys have everything that they need and that they're very happy. And right now they have no enrichment. They don't really have much going for their habitat. We need to change up their terrain. And we need to make this area really nice and full of enrichment for the people as well so that they will donate and they will become quite educated in the uh, the well-being of the cheetah who have come to join us. Also, we need to have the cheetah, the view from the cheetah from here is not very great at all. No! Okay, we need to have a mechanic come and visit too because the mechanic definitely is needed. Let's call a mechanic. Heckin! 
Oh, and Daydream is about to have a baby. I love having more giraffe offspring. Oh, we have so much to do. All right, cheetah first. Let's get some sh short grass in here. I kind of wonder if people were complaining because it's hard to see the cheetah in the tall grass. And the cheetah themselves do not want this much long grass, so we'll go ahead, clear some of this away. <gasps> Daydream's had her baby! Oh, I will look at that little giraffe as soon as we're done putting down short grass mixed in here. All right. So we'll just kind of fill this whole area in more or less with short grass because the cheetah did not want all of this long grass. That's fine by me. There, we'll even get this stuff at the back here. Excellent. All right, now the terrain is more or less perfect for them, but we're gonna put in some soil over on this side because they would like that. Oh, and they need clean food. That's terrible. Holy cow. That's not gonna do. Where is my keeper? We're gonna need to probably get another keeper in order to make sure this place keeps getting tidied up. All right, and now they need some food and toy enrichment. Absolutely, we're on this. Yay, and Umbriel is actually expecting more lion cubs. So that's what I mean. We might really have to start breaking apart the lion pride because we have such a big pride already. We'll see how many females we actually have over there in a little bit. But right now, like I said, cheetah, cheetah, cheetah. It's hard to focus sometimes when there's so much going on. All right, so let's come on in. And we're gonna give the cheetah a nice bed of leaves because I love these leaves. Right here, it's in the shelter. They should feel nice and comfy. So I'll have some where to be. Then we can add in some pinata enrichments that we can actually name after some of the, <laughs> the zebra and the other prey animals who die of old age. I wanna start doing that more often, leaving these pinata enrichments more or less everywhere and naming them after the prey animals, which seems really mean, but think about it, friends. Like, come on. The, the prey animals are here in what we're pretending to be a open safari, not a zoo, and wild things happen. All right, so that's enough food enrichment for them. And let's actually see if I can snag. There's a really cool scratching, there it is! The cherry blossom scratching post, which I love. And we can actually put the scratching post right here so it'll look like they're scratching at the front door. Ooh, I like that idea. Where it can seem like they're like scratching and rubbing against the front door of this house. So there's that for a toy. They want more toy enrichments. Okay. So what else can we give them? That would be a good toy enrichment. Oh look! Straight over to the front door, which is pretty awesome. Prey scented sack. We could give them a, ooh, scratching post that we could actually put like right over here. So it looks like it's part of the building again. Nice! Oh, look! And they're rubbing up against the door! And climbing in the baskets! I mean, how is that not the most amazing thing? I love that! Wow! Okay, that's gonna be really fun to see. So Canvas is currently just like chilling, climbing, climbing around the, uh, the little village that we've made here. Okay. Nice. We should put more village things in as like little decorations for them. I think that could be really fun. Oh, Canvas, you're so beautiful. I love you. All right, guys, so she's wiggle climbing. There we go. And they're barking. There's some poop as well, which means we can definitely go ahead and put down some protea flowers to get a little area going. And we might add in like a dung beetle spot since there's already a lot of dung here. Ha, I got it before he did. And yeah, like maybe a nice spot for a dung beetle and then uh, exhibit, which there are no dung beetles, but we'll just put down a different bug and say it's a dung beetle. Uh, why are you guys trying to view them through here? <laughs> you silly, silly geese. That is not a spot to go and try to look at our beautiful cheetah. Um, and how else can we really kind of enhance this area and make it look nice? 
Maybe some more abandoned farm pieces? I would love to really just spruce it up. Maybe just little tiny patches of gardens? Let's check in here. Maybe we could put more baskets, maybe put on their side. A small hut might, might do very well. Okay, let's grab this hut. Because I just love the idea that... Oh, we already had that hut. I just love the idea that the cheetahs have moved into what is more or less an abandoned area. Alright, especially because this is supposed to be all about ruins and things like that. So we can add in maybe another little hut over here. Seems good. There we go. I do not want the zebra interbreeding. And it Charlin and... Yeah, Cherylin we can actually release to the wild real quick. There we go. So now Cherylin is going to be... Chao... Chao Nian is going to be the name of this pinata enrichment. So... There we go. Cha Nian. The pinata enrichment. <laughs> um, there. That'll be the new name. There! Alright, this is looking much nicer. Much, much nicer for what we can expect from our cheetah. I think they're potentially thinking about breeding again, which would be really nice. And we'll try to make this area even better. Just to, just to give people a little glimpse of how lovely our cheetah are. And give them somewhere to rest. Uh, I think putting maybe a security tree over here would be a good idea. And let me pull up your guys' name list so that we can figure out which security tree. <gasps> small friend, the plain zebra is about to die of old age. Oh, small friend. Small friend has died. Small friend has died. I fear small friend may have fallen. Small friend indeed may have fallen to the hungry predators all around. So... Small friend, <laughs> the enrichment item uh, that will now become small friend who feeds the cheetah. It's a sad world, but it is definitely one that's kept in balance. Uh, all right, but let's actually get a security tree tree installed, maybe right over here, because I think that would be a good idea, right on the edge. And then right back here, we can put an exhibit with some of the wonderful rare dung beetles who take care of our rare protea flowers. And this is going to be secure tree. Uh, tiger! So this is going to be Tiger's secure tree. So thank you so much, Tiger. I'm so glad that you are enjoying our adventures. Secure tree tree. There we go. And thank you for providing protection for our cheetah over their new little spot of land. But yeah, I think we definitely need to spruce this area up some more. So before we start adding in more exhibits, let's come in. We're going to put this down right over here. Like so. Excellent. We're also going to remove this path. <laughs> there we go. All those other paths can stay. It's not very even, but we keep things pretty organic around here. We're going to add this into the work zone for Hyena Heights and Village. So hopefully it will be well taken care of. And this is going to be, we'll say, another species of dung beetle of some kind. So what do we have? What's going to be the most popular thing right now? <gasps> little brown snakes! I actually want to get, let's buy these little brown snakes. I want these cute little brown snakes. All right. And then these two they're both females, so they won't actually breed, but that's fine. Uh, these two are actually going to represent a new species. Let's look up some new species of snake. Uh, so, snakes of Africa. That's a huge continent. We should come up with some interesting ones. And we're going to name... Let's see. Let's try brown snakes of Africa. And there is a really, really pretty brown snake called the Biodone. Let's see. Uh, the Bo, or excuse me, Boa Don, Boa Don. And it is a brown house snake. So I think they're just kind of like harmless house snakes. Doing a quick look. Oh, they come in a lot of different types. Oh, and they're called just like house snakes. <laughs> Let's call it just the brown house snake then. 
The brown house snake. Harmless to humans, it's widely kept and bred uh, in captivity due to its small size, placid demeanor, and easy to take care of requirements. So I think it's just an easy peasy little house snake. They're literally called house snakes. <laughs> what do they eat? I guess they eat whatever they can. They're commonly found in towns where they will feast on the rodents that gather there. So we're just gonna call this one the little brown house snakes. So brown house snake garden. There we go. Let's get this exhibit just right for them. We don't want it too hot. Don't want it too humid. Lovely, lovely. And we will name these two lovely brown house snakes who definitely help everybody out after you guys. So this is gonna be, this female right here is going to be Lavoni. Thank you so much for helping us with our rodent problem. No doubt you used to live in the houses that are located right over here. And the other one is going to be, ooh, we're going to go with Sahara, which is a lovely name. One of my favorites, and I think it'd be a great name for one of the cheetahs. Thank you very much, Wolf. We will definitely rename one of the cheetahs to Sahara when we have more babies. All right, let's deck this out. We actually don't know that much about brown snakes. What? We found a new creature to bring our vet over to research. That is rare. Archaeologist Relia can now pop over and see the eastern brown snake. Sweet. And this is going to be, of course, we'll say the African house snake, of which there are apparently many, many varieties one can pick from. Uh, all right. So we'll put that down. And let's make sure we've got some, some nice benches and some good places where people can throw their trash away so they don't trash our whole beautiful zoo that we've got going here. And then I think we'll even change up the back here so people can see the back of the exhibit as well. Yeah, there's a lot to tidy up back here. And I think we'll spend time sprucing up the cheetah area. Let me think about this because I'm onto an idea. I think we might spend some time sprucing up the cheetah area until we have cheetah cubs. <gasps> and we already have lion cubs? Like, Umbrell, you were literally just pregnant. How did that happen so fast? Oh my gosh! Okay, well, I guess we're naming some lion cubs in just a second, friends. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, to be honest. I was counting on having a little bit more time just to spend, uh, oops, need to add some protea flowers, because there's some poop. I was having, like, counting on a little more time to work on this before then. Alright, we can move over the protea flowers, because we have collected them from where the dung was. There's a couple there. There's one right over here. We can add more to this in just a bit. And then, oh, Canvas is expecting offspring! Oh my holy heck! Canvas is expecting offspring. Oh, and we've got fighting amongst the lions. We have fighting amongst the lions and it looks like Janim. Janim has actually lost the fight. He is cowering down, he is injured, and he is actually going to be released to the wild because he has been chased away by the other stronger males. Holy heck. All right, we've really got to be careful on that. I need to keep a closer eye on all of the drama going on with our wild animals. Also, there's more cheetah poop. They seem to be particularly poopy, our cheetahs. Hmm. Yeah, it's leaving a lot of dung behind uh, to keep up with. Oh dear, and here we go. We've got new babies from Umbrelli. Let's go ahead. Oh, she has a son named Kingsler who's aged up elsewhere. Are these two the new ones? They're brand new! So we have a little girl and a little boy, friends. I think because Umbrelli is so old, we're going to name this daughter of hers. Whoops. But because Umbrelli is so old, we're going to name this daughter of hers the second. And then we're going to go ahead and name this son that she just had after one of you guys. And we're going to go with Cricket, which is such a cute name. Oh my gosh, I love that name. Good job, Mila. I really like that name. Also, there's a lot of poop hanging out in here, too. Really, if I need more, if I really need more tortillas, I should just be keeping an eye on our predators, it seems. Because uh, they've got plenty to offer that I can now take over to the other side of the zoo. But heck, all right. So now we have a whole bunch of little lion cubs born. Welcome, welcome, little ones. Wow, 
And the pride is growing. I should have... Did I have a, a giraffe born whilst I was distracted? I think we have a giraffe that's getting ready to be born. Oh, there's fighting due to too many... Like, incorrect ratio of my... My beautiful giraffes. Also, what on earth? Do you remember when we weren't able to get anybody to come up here? This place is so crowded. I guess we need to go ahead and like expand this spot. Are people throwing things down? Did somebody destroy the- They destroyed the do not disturb sign. What a disturbance. Okay, there's a lot going on. I'm very glad that we're at least getting a chance to catch up with little bits and patches of our entire area though. Um, and let me make sure that we're okay with the cheetah. Yes, we're okay with the cheetah. Uh, but oh my gosh, guys, there is a lot going down, and I think we'll go ahead and definitely stay here until we finish keeping a close eye on Candace when she gives birth to her cheetah cubs. That's going to be very exciting, and we will upgrade as much as we can around the area that the cheetahs live before then, and then we will follow up. <laughs> Aluna, why are you so upset? We will follow up and try to understand why we have such upset animals and do our best to take good care of them oh my gosh this place is getting hectic but i love it i really do so all right guys thank you so much for joining me if you could do please leave a like for our ever expanding suhula safari it is truly becoming a living organic place that we just have to do our best to try to keep up with if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.